let's see what else we want to get into today though um oh jamar gerard carbicle i want to talk about this with you deuce oh we lost him we'll see if he if we get him back i'm still uh, here but i'm still here okay gotcha gotcha cool so yeah gerard carmichael so he's a comedian um we probably won't spend too much time on this because we have other things that are a little bit more important but i definitely wanted to um just touch on it he's gotten some heat because he has a new show that is on um hbo max it's the i think it's actually called the gerard uh, carmichael show and um people have just been a little bit upset with some of the content so um, here, let's read this one real quick. Because uh, one, by the way, was that he, <laughs> his white boyfriend, had like, kind of like taught, not taught, but like convinced him to read. And this actually might be what this is. Um, and he kind of likened it to the relationship between a slave oh. and a like, like a son of the of the master, teaching like a slave to read. Oh, <laughs> God, the fuck. Yeah, he went crazy. And then the other one that he got heat for like a couple weeks ago, and I'll pull that one up. I, I guess we can't hate him for his feelings. Hey, man, look, and I, I know we'll get into it, but he'll, uh, I know some of it, he's like, hey, this is, this is out of context. But here, let's go ahead. Uh, in a recent episode of the Gerard Car Carmichael reality show, the comedian said, my boyfriend, uh, he makes me smarter. He makes me read. I have so many books. Realistically, I'm not going to read all those books. He knows that. But the fact that I brought that I bought them says I love you. They're little monuments around my apartment. Just like, look at this book from Amazon that I'm never going to read. Uh, he then added, I sometimes joke to him that our relationship is like that of a slave and a master son who like teaches me how to read by candlelight. Okay. How do you feel about the deuce? Can we get in here, brother? Help me out. Can we get the brother. is the camera? Okay, yeah. Get, let's get in front of the camera. Let's uh, let's give us some uh, you know, yeah, uh, let's give us some black action. Yeah. Honestly, brother, <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> I I'm just a little confuzzled here with this yeah. fella. Um, I'm not sure. Because he's gay. Is is that where you draw your line with this? No, I, I, it's not even First that. But I just don't know yeah. where he's he's talking about books and. And He's made me confused. <laughs> well, okay, so in the episode, which was during a live stand-up show, the joke seemed to fall flatter than Carmichael accept, uh, expected, with some people in the audience groaning and hissing. Yeah, he groans too because he's a good person, he replied about his boyfriend. Uh, he doesn't like that fucking joke. I like that joke. That's my burden. I think that shit's hilarious. Um, hey man, Carmichael then saw backlash when some viewers called out the controversial idea of race-based sexual slave play. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. During an appearance <laughs> on The Breakfast Club <laughs> with Dr. Envy, just hilarious. Okay, so the people on The Fucking Breakfast Club, Carmack will clarify like the joke, which he said was covered from, from the punchline on and missed the setup. I really don't like that. He said on the morning show talk show, it made it seem like I was talking like... <laughs> I'm into some type of race, sexual slavery role play with my boyfriend, which is untrue. It's so false. He continued. It has nothing to do with my boyfriend. It has nothing to do with the sex that we have. Uh, it has nothing to do with the sex. It's something about uh, something people have been reporting on. Nobody it's about, brought up sex, though. It's about my boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, it's about, it's about my boyfriend uh, reading so much. Right. He makes me feel insecure about my level of reading. Um it, it 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 might be the the romanticizing the relationship between a yeah. slave master son and a slave like like that might be like the the issue some people might have there. Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah. The thing is, you just gotta when you're gonna make like. So I like that he has the option to make that joke. You know, I like the yeah, first artistic amendment, freedom. all that kind of stuff. Yes. I think that's 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 cool. Yes. Um, and he just has to accept that it's not Backlash. gonna yeah, it's not gonna work for everybody. Some people are gonna think like, oh, that's really stupid. This is why I think it's stupid. And then you just gotta hear that. Then you say like, why, in your opinion, it's funny, and people move on, and life goes on, and I don't think it's the end of the world. So uh, I will say, if there, I mean, if, it's if, a little weird. It's a little weird. I don't know. It, seems it is like weird. Now, yeah, like, now, is that, that's awesome. what he's fantasizing about. Or like. But that's what makes it the the lens he's looking at it through yes. is what is supposed to make it funny. It's yes. supposed to be ridiculous. It's supposed, it's supposed to be, to be yeah. absurd. outlandish. Yeah, it, it's just it's weird when you think about like oh he's reading to me and then that's where my mind goes. Yeah. But I will say like if let's say these two movies are made right, Hallmark made a movie that was about a slave master's son falling in love with a slave. Okay, that movie would be received a lot worse than if Quentin uh, Quentin Tarantino made a. Like parody movie about that situation, 
Okay. Like, like it would be like, like it, there would be two different receptions. Are you following Deuce? No, I mean, I, I, I thought I was, but then I, okay. Yeah, like, no. like, like, like jokes are supposed to like, like they get more freedom. I'm just saying. And it's like, he just kind of like, yeah, it was kind of like this weird romanticization with it. Yeah, but again, that, Hey, it's to his freedom. It's his show. He wants to, it is bullshit that they take out the setup. But once again, that's kind of like, once you start spewing shit out your mouth, that's the risk you take that, that Tim I'm Robbins sure. show of whatever that's on Netflix. The one with like, are you sure about that? Oh yeah. That, yeah. that guy, like, like it, there are a lot of a lot of like little clip scenes that they do that like if you were just to take a little bit out of that, it it, it could like ruin someone's. Yeah, so I guess it's fucked up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I mean, like they're not portraying it as like a, this is like how things should be or like part of him having that thought is probably what's kind of comedic about it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it, he's recognizing that it's a fucked up kind of way to view this relationship uh, i'm talking about my own personal insecurity i'm an educated person i'm usually the smartest person in the room okay flex on that one uh he reads so much it makes me feel like oh do i even know how to read that joke works if i had a black boyfriend if my boyfriend were black that joke actually works better um hmm. well i mean you're not yeah. gonna be able to put it in the same context it wouldn't make as much sense i guess or maybe sense. or maybe you would i don't know um but yeah so there's this and then also there's another thing i'm gonna look up but how do you guys feel about this one alone and then i'm gonna pull up the other scenario and i want to ask you guys his opinion on that um, i mean i don't know bro it's weird it just seems like there's some weird fetish fantasy shit you know yeah like you know just cucks and fucks you know what i mean Hey man, to each their own, to each their own, whatever they want to do with their uh, imaginations and booty holes, you know. Hey, if they want to role play, be some Confederates, you know what I'm saying? Oh my so God. Your show. Leave, leave the slaves alone. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, I needed you oh to be look at this dude. Of reality. Oh, wow. Well, thank you very much. Do you have a foot fetish? You know, it's new. It's new. I'm really like, okay. in the feet lately. Like, yeah, it was a taboo. You're <laughs> some feet on a grinder. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, so I, I wasn't able to find the actual video of whatever, which was probably probably for the best. But there's another uh, video, well, another part of his this show where he's sucking on a dude's foot and his boyfriend's foot. Ooh, um, Andy Cohen going there. Yeah. So this, on top of this, is I think maybe why people were like, "What the fuck is up? Are you guys doing like some weird like subservient <laughs> indoctrination?" Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely it's definitely out there. Um, do you think there's anything any conspiracies with this, Deuce? Because honestly, the conspiracy around this, like I said, I've seen on Twitter a lot of like sex uh, cults. Not e not even like basically like normalization of like this weird shit for black folks and the black community. Oh my God. Brother, um, brother, they, they, they don't have to worry about the, the community, the, brother. We're, we're that never crazy shit. <laughs> so, he was like, but a lot of stuff that I've seen has been like. Um, uh, one, like like you said, the fetishing of the relationship, um, but then that per the black person in the relationship being put in like these weird like in this case he can't read or doesn't read as good as the joke. Then the other one is him sucking on his boyfriend's feet, which I think is well, just again, a lot of y'all's fucking uncles is, are licking feet out there. I hate to break it to you, okay? A lot of people, they got foot mouth. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them out there licking some toes. Women like a lot of like your aunts and shit and like that shit. Do you so think there's anything? To it, do you think there's anything to that? Was the criticism? Or do you think it's toes, just like, I, I ain't sucking toes. He, he said he said uncles and cousins and shit, not Paul. But do you think there's anything to that, by the way, brother? Oh, uh, sucking toes. No, just like this being like an intentional thing. Like I've heard this argument with rap music as well. Or is he just talking about his experiences? Yeah, or is he just talking about his experience? That's possible as well. Uh, it's no, it's definitely some people. indoctrination. Nasty boy. Yeah, we don't we don't do that in the community. Um, oh my god. <laughs> that's not what we do. <laughs> Never was practiced. Um, yeah. Bro, Until we, now. Grew up, but it wasn't Until, in the for Ice Cube's dad on Friday and his uncle definitely. Yeah, suck toes. Definitely. No, they weren't sucking their toes. They were sucking. Oh, bullshit, I think they might bro. actually show him suck toes in there. I'm it trying to remember be, back. Yeah, yeah. I'm no, trying to remember. Kissing, remember, 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 remember his, yeah, because because Day Day's dad had the had the ma the the bondage mask on and yeah. all that shit. The the gag ball. Well, does it make a difference if he's sucking white toes? <laughs> no, but hold on, hold on, hold on. That's good. I can't. I can't. Can he not suck white toes? Like white people but can't he get the sucking toes. Period. Is, there, is, okay. it, sorry, is it the sucking toes plus the white plus gay equals abomination? 
So it's like 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 that, that's like the You're whole filling up a bingo card right now. Yeah, You're filling yeah, up a fucking bingo card. With the, with the free space, there's only one more to hit. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, here, here. I don't. I like. I just wanted to like touch on that a little bit. I just thought it was like a weird story that came across today. But I want to make sure while we have Deuce here, um, I want to make sure I get into this Kai Sinet story, um, and oh, kind of bring yes, it down. Please, brother, please. Yeah, yes. I definitely want to make sure if there's anybody oh, hating on Twitter. Yeah, all of his new followers that hate him. Uh, Kai Sinet, so if you guys have heard,